Hey guys, it's me, uh, JokerFan519 here. Uh, this is another mask vlog. Uh, um, working on a mask right now. Uh, just started casting it. Um, this mask is either going to be like a new mascot mask or the demon from Insidia since the movie's coming out. Oh, shit. Um... That was bad. As long as you go back in there. Here we go. But, um... Yeah, it's either going to be the Demon from Insidious or just the classic Joker from, like, the comic book series. Not anyone in particular. Maybe the Killing Joke. I don't know. It's going to be, like, comic book Joker. Yeah, like, Mark Hamill Joker. I don't know. It all depends on what I want. I'm probably just going to go for, like, a... Classic Joker. Um, also, can't find my glasses. I wear glasses sometimes. So I read and stuff, but I don't know where I put them since the last time I moved my room around. So, kind of upset about that, but not really. Just a tiny bit upset because my mom keeps bugging me about wanting me to wear my glasses. Anyways, uh,. Yeah, I'm working, I might work on this today, I'm going to paint it, I drilled the eyes a little bit down, because they were uh, really rough, I also drilled the mouth a little bit, it's still kind of messy, but it's like very uh, rough, because this came directly from China, I'm pretty sure, my aunt gave it to me for Christmas a couple years ago, I think, and she got it from like her neighbor or something, and they just gave it to her, and they're like, oh, do what you want with it, or something, I don't know. And she said, oh, he, my nephew would probably like that. Um, Drew would probably like that. My name is Drew, so I don't think I ever said that on my YouTube channel before, but my name is Drew. Um, but I like to go by JokerFan519. But I also like to go by Drew, so I don't know. Just call me what you want. Um, yeah, might just, I'm not sure what color I want to paint this with spray paint. I'm either going to do orange, purple, or blue. If I had green, I would do green, but I'm out of green spray paint, so. Don't think I have any other colors except for maybe, uh. I think the only colors I have is silver, brass. And white. The white is plastic dip, so that's not gonna work on a plastic mask. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on this today possibly. I'm gonna have a chat with my uh, friend. Uh, he used to go by Freak Factory Studios, but apparently YouTube like uh no, I don't even remember what happened. I Talked to him yesterday, and I don't remember what he said, but I don't know his YouTube channel at the moment, but he just messaged me on Instagram, and I haven't talked to him for a while. So it was good to hear from him, so I'd have to ask him today what his uh, new YouTube channel is so I can shout it out. Um, yeah. Um, boo -boo -boo. Still want to do a review on this uh, Freddy figure, even though it's broken technically. The one his like pinky finger is like gone, and I don't know where his hat is. I just bought him loose on eBay, so he didn't come with his hat. But I really want. I've ever since I saw the remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street with Jack Earl Haley playing Freddy Krueger, I wanted this. I wanted an action figure of this, and I'm so glad I have one now. And I bought this like I don't know. February, maybe? I don't know. Bought it around the time I bought this mask, maybe? No, it may have been, like, April when I bought this figure, because I bought this mask in March, so... It was either April or May when I bought this figure. Didn't seem like it was that short a time ago, but apparently it was. My, uh, I, I really want to do something with this Levy Face mask. I really want to cut the teeth out, but I also don't like to ruin vintage masks, because I don't think Ruby's makes these anymore, so I don't want to ruin it with the 
cutting out the teeth. I have to keep my masks somewhat mint unless they're like horrible paint job or whatever. Like, uh, probably not gonna repaint any of these pots masks. I mean, that one's not entirely accurate. That one's a little bit accurate. That one's a poster Howling 4 mask. That one's decent. Sculpt isn't entirely accurate, but that one's painted very well. I like that one. And my Resurrection's painted very well. And I know people hate the uh, 2018 paint job, but I actually like it. It's actually more green and yellow on a uh, off camera, like in person. But I think it looks, uh, you know, on camera it looks a lot lighter. It looks a lot whiter. It looks more white, but like a cream color. But in, per in actuality, it's a uh, pretty like greenish yellowish. But I still like it. I think the paint job is perfect. Better than what I could do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if it's like, uh, I don't know where my, uh, Rob Zombie Michael Myers mask is, um, probably up in my attic in storage, which it probably shouldn't be up there because it's so hot up in my attic, probably, uh, melt some things, I don't know, but, um, yeah, um, what else, yeah, I repainted that, but I'm probably gonna get the Trick or Treat Studios one and put it right here. And, uh, still need to get another milk jug of one of these. I might even just get paper towel rolls and just, uh, put my masks on those. I might just put this down here. Unless it's leaking, I don't think it is. Fuck it, I'll just put it right here. Hopefully it doesn't pop. Um, this one I might just keep here. Might put the collector on a paper towel roll. Probably gonna keep Brendan James on a milk jug. Might put Ghost Face on a, a paper towel roll. Don't know what I want to display here. I want to put a Scream 6 mask, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. Probably going to keep this one on Milk Jug. Put this one on a um, paper towel roll and keep this on Milk Jug. These I'll probably keep on Milk Jugs and whatever it is there. But those are actually all on foam heads, believe it or not. Um, I think y'all knew this one was and this one was because you can see the foam head right there, but... If you look closely, this one's actually got a foam head, too. I put my Rorschach mask and hat on it. Don't think I've shown this in a, a video, but it's my, uh... So I can hold, like, show you guys without dropping it. It's my uh, Rorschach grappling hook gun. The CO2 cartridge is kind of, like, oddly placed, but I think it adds to the character. Uh, I like how I weathered it, too. It looks really nice. Yeah. Kind of got the orange on the inside, but that's fine. I don't care. Um, might add a little bit of weathering to the wood handle thing. Don't know. Do that some other time though. Um, want to get some other masks too, but I'm probably gonna wait. Like the masks, like the overhead mask, I want to get at Spirit this year. If they have them, it's probably gonna be uh. If they have it, maybe the Rob Zombie Trick or Treat Studio, the Michael Myers mask will go right, well not right there, but it's one I want to get. But like I want to get Leatherface from the 2022 one. I want to get, I don't know, part one Leatherface like from Ruby's or whatever. If they have it, like the well, no, the Pretty Woman wasn't from part two, I'm stupid. Yeah, maybe like a part one uh, Leatherface Pretty Woman mask. And it's another mask that can go there. Um... I want to clear out these shelves to put more masks, but I don't know where I'm going to put the Legos because I have no room for them, but I also want to display them. But, um, I want to put some, uh, more comic book characters down here. I can move those and put those down here and put, like, Hellboy, Cronin, and, uh, I don't know, Batman or something, I don't know. Not sure yet. But, yeah. I want to get some more masks. I'm probably not going to get masks to go down there this year. I'm not sure. Like, the only masks I really plan on getting this year are probably some Ghostface stuff. Like, I'm going to put, like, the uh, year or the year before that. Or did it come out the year before? I want to put, like, a, a Chrome Ghostface right there. Chrome Gold Ghost, Metallic Gold Ghostface mask right there. Can't tell if that's a nail or not. Don't think so. Um... That, I'm probably going to put one of the, uh, uh, bedazzle ghost face masks right there. 
And I'm going to put like another one right there. Maybe the Banshee masks right there in there. And I might put some more nails up in my wall to put the Dead by Daylight stuff up there. Um, might put the bedazzles. It's just going to be for knives and props and stuff. It's a little, oh, there it is. There's like a little push mark here and here. I have the uh, Scream 4. Uh, what is it? Light up knife. That light up blade. It's like, well, it light up, lights up green. Yeah, I'll get like a bleeding knife and a, uh, oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't get a bleeding knife. I'm going to get the, uh, um, bedazzled, really cheaply made, well, not cheaply made, but che look, like the, like the original ghost face knife from like the costume, the one that kind of looks weird, kind of looks like a buck knife, but kind of not. I'm going to get the bedazzled one of that and maybe the, uh, uh, buck knife. From spirit, like I think it's gonna be sold at spirit, but the spirit buck knife, like the chrome buck knife prop toy thing, but with a uh, ghost face's face on it. Put that right here. I don't know what I'm gonna put right here. I want to put like another like I don't know. These are kind of my monster ghost face masks. That one's an exception, but yeah, there's devil face and skelly face. Not sure what I would put here. Um, maybe another knife or something. I don't know. Um, thinking about putting pins up there or something like nails or something so I can put some stuff up there. Yeah, I want to fill my walls up with masks. I only got like these. This is going to be my custom mask area. So all That wall and this wall somewhat are going to be custom, or not custom, ghost face masks. Those are going to be tagged masks except for that skull and that white mask which I might replace. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be mainly the tagged uh, mask section, like the Purge, that mask, um, Flock Devil Mask, Vintage Clown Mask, and Glow in the Dark Skull Mask, Ghost Mask, and this Invisible Mask of Fun World. I uh, might move this, I'm not sure. Um, probably going to move this as well. I want to turn this into a Slipknot mask. I don't remember the member who it was, but get okay. off there. There we go. I also want to buy a new one of these because mine's are actually cracked and I had to tape it, so. And so oh, and there's another crack right here. God damn it. Yeah, I want to get, like, black electrical tape and, like, put it on the outside, like, the edge of it, like, the out edge of it, like, right here and stuff. And it'd also kind of help with the, uh, um, cracks. I think there's, like, a red nose on there, too, that I could get, so. I got to look at the mask again, though, but, yeah, I want to do something with that. Yeah, this one I might turn to that Slipknot mask, I'm not sure. And then I might just buy another one, like a tagged one, and just put it like right uh, here maybe, I don't know. Maybe right here. Um, this is going to be like my Guy Fox section, like we got Pierre Mache, uh, Guy Fox, Fox, I don't know. Yellow Guy Fox, um, Red Guy Fox, Pink Guy Fox, and the Movie Guy Fox. Uh, I'm gonna put the other color. These are gonna be my colored ones, except for that one. That's an exception. Um, this is a mask I kind of worked on. My uh, Brendan James mask. I just realized the mouth isn't accurate though. It's too big of a hole. Um, that's what he said. Shit. Um, but yeah. Not sure if to do that. This is kind of like my Batmanish wall. There's like my Walking Phoenix Joker. And my uh, Batman mask. There's a Michael Myers mask up there. I don't know. But yeah, this that wall over there is going to be kind of like uh, custom stuff. This is going to be, I don't know. Maybe I'll put this and this Brandon James mask over uh, over here. I don't know. You put more nails in the wall though. Which my mom's going to kill me for that, but whatever. Gotta make sacrifices sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, here's just like a mask I painted. I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Um. Anyways, um. Yeah, might put that over here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put Valak right here. That's right. Well, that's what I was gonna do. Damn it. Um. Gonna put Valak right here. Maybe move this bloody red to clown and put Insidious Demon here. I don't know. Not sure yet. Uh, here, let me pause real quick. 
There we go. There's a, I think it's Valak. I call it Valak. Not gonna shout the guy uh, out who uh, gave me this mask because apparently, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in the drama because, yeah. But um, I don't even know if the guy still does YouTube anymore or not. So I know he's not in that hobby anymore. I don't think so. At least last I knew he was, but I don't know if he still is or not. But uh, I think the last mask he actually made was a. One of these masks, they were like a resin or fiberglass or some shit. It's kind of cool, actually. But, um, yeah. He sold me this mask along with a, uh, Scarecrow ghost face mask. Um, the other mask I bought from him is this, uh, Brandon James mask. These, this mask and Valak were both made by Nightmare Fuel Studios. But I guess, uh, Ryan gave them to, uh, uh, I'll, I guess I'll say his old channel name, I don't even know if he still does it, uh, Metal Snake 13, uh, anyways, yeah, um, he sold them to Metal Snake 13, so, uh, yeah, and I bought them from him, so, thought about giving this mask back to Ryan, cause that's, like, something he made, it was, like, the first custom, Brandon James mask he made, so I'm like, kind of feel bad having this, but I kind of want to keep it too. I'll ask him if he ever responds to my texts, if he wants it back or not. So, uh, Ryan, if you're watching this, uh, if you want this mask back, I guess just text me on Instagram. Just message me on Instagram, and I'll think about, like, I don't know. I'll give it back to you if you really want it back, but if you don't care, I guess I'll keep it. I'm not gonna sell it or anything. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I didn't sleep well last night. I barely slept. And no, I was not playing video games or watching movies or playing on my phone or anything. I don't do that shit. I don't play video games. I've got better things to do. I mean, I occasionally play a like a DS game. That's about it. And that's very rare. Anyways, I'm just rambling on. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else I could do. Um, got a mask out in the back porch I'm working on, so maybe I'll do something about that. I don't know. But, um, here, I'll just pause it real quick. Yeah, here we go. Um, just a ultra white costume mask that spent through hell and back. I painted it several times, and I guess I didn't cover under there, but. It repainted it somewhat white. It's kind of like a creamish color, but I guess it's alright. You can repaint the black, and you know, there's holes in it where I had to sand down the uh, red paint. But I still think it's pretty cool. I want to like, make it look like a uh, Scream 6 mask, but I don't know. Now the paint actually wanted to stick and not dig well. Did the chemical reaction using earlier. I might just, uh, I don't know. Might add a second coat of white and then just, I don't know. Because usually, when you spray paint a uh, plasti dip onto a vinyl mask, like a ghost face mask, it'll uh, break up. It'll like look like it's cracked. But apparently when I put uh, acrylic paint, like a Delta paint, I don't know. I okay, have it over here. Get the brand of paint. Let's see. Well, here's the clear coat I usually use on plastic masks like Delta Creative but I use paint um, apparently if you use that kind of paint uh, and you p put plastic dip on it apparently it'll want to stay I don't know All right now here we go now it's wanting to come off so yeah Ryan's right it doesn't want to stay thought I'd try that though I don't know I don't know maybe I'll just paint it white I don't know I just wasted paint for nothing, so learning experience, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't really think I have anything else, guys. So, uh, um, oh yeah, I did want to say this. Um, if I can get my Etsy 
to uh, if I can get my eBay and Etsy to sell, like, be able, bleh, if I can be able to sell and stuff on eBay and Etsy. I will sell uh, some Art the Clown masks. I can either do clean or bloody. Uh, teeth will be this color and not this color unless you want this color. So you have to message me if you want like a darker kind of brownish teeth or these yellowy gross teeth. And you can message me if you want like a clean version or a bloody version. I will tell you that these uh, kind of fold. Not like fold but they kind of like curve on the latex. So might add uh, extra straps. I'm not sure. Might charge a little bit extra if you want like a bottom strap. Isn't really well. Technically, Art the Clown doesn't wear a mask. You, this is his face. But this is basically his a uh, face, but it's just like this was just sculpted to be a mask. So yeah, you can either do a bloody version or a clean version. Um, they will be numbered, I think. Looks like a one, but it's actually a two. Um, and it says by Joker Fan Five Nineteen Art the Clown. And I might do ones where you could do Joker or Valak or, yeah, Demon from uh, Insidious. Because I know Ryan did something like that a long time ago. He made like Art, uh, Valak, and the Insidious Demon out of those masks. He also made a Krampus mask out of those masks, but he made face versions like this. And he also made overhead latex ones. So, I'm not going to make any overhead latex ones at this point. Because, uh, I just don't feel like it. Because I feel like these are easier to make. But if I, uh, ever get better at making masks, I might do a overhead mask at some point. Not sure what character I do. Maybe I'll start with art. But, um, I kind of have this in the works, but I haven't really, uh, done anything in a while. Got a lot of stuff in here, but, um... It's a uh, Rob Zombie, uh, Michael Myers bust thing I'm making. I think I beef up the neck though, but yeah. Been working on that a little bit. Um, yeah, here's a, this mask it's casting right now. Um, it's going to be either, uh, like I said, it's going to either be a uh, Insidious Demon or just a classic Joker. Because I'm a Joker fan. Um, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and shit. I want to do that. Damn it, son of a bitch. But yeah, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Do whatever you want, I don't care. I'm trying to make it to at least, uh, I don't even know how many subscribers I have at this point, but, uh, I guess 200 subscribers. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys later, guys. Talk to you guys later.